welcome to this special program series, COVID-19 Women Series, as we capture developments around the pandemic and the impacts on women. Let's begin with the key updates. We begin with the news that the Visa Foundation has made a commitment of two programs totaling $210 million to support small and micro businesses, aligning with the Foundation's long-term focus on women's economic advancement and inclusive economic development, and to address an urgent need from local communities following the spread of COVID-19. The first program of $10 million is designated for immediate emergency relief to support charitable organizations on the front lines responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, such as public health and food relief, in each of the five geographic locations in which Visa operates, North America, Latin America and the Caribbean, Europe, Asia Pacific and Central Europe, Middle East and Africa. As COVID-19 continues to unfold, communities are feeling the effects and need our immediate support, said Al Kelly, CEO and chairman of Visa. As a global company that operates a very local business, we recognize this need. We are also committed to the long-term recovery and will continue to explore ways we can accelerate economic activity in line with our mission to help individuals, businesses and economies thrive. The second program is a five-year strategic $200 million commitment to support small and micro businesses around the world with a focus on fostering women's economic advancement. This action expands the Visa Foundation's long-standing support for small and micro businesses globally. The funds from the Visa Foundation will provide capital to non-government organizations and investment partners supporting small and micro businesses. Small and micro businesses are the backbone of the global economy, accounting for more than 90% of worldwide businesses and contributing 50 to 60% of global employment. There is a $300 billion annual credit deficit in funding for women-owned small and micro businesses, which is expected to grow given the recent economic turmoil unfolding due to COVID-19. In Lagos State, Governor Mr. Babajide Sonwo Olu on Saturday announced more palliative measures for vulnerable residents who might be affected by the ongoing 14-day lockdown directive of the federal government. According to the governor, the palliative measure will cover the medical expenses of pregnant women and other categories of patients in emergency, casualty cases, laboratory testing and surgeries, as well as the cost of any medication bought at the state-owned secondary and tertiary healthcare facilities during the period of lockdown. Sawolu asserted that the decision was taken to ameliorate the difficulty encountered by patients whose regular business has been affected by the restriction order imposed to curtail the spread of COVID-19. While noting that measures have been put in place to prevent compromise of the scheme, Governor Sorolu envisaged that the palliative measures will impact positively on beneficiaries of the initiative across public health institutions in Lagos State. The first category are patients in emergency, casualty cases including registration, laboratory tests, surgeries and drugs. Those in the second category are maternity cases. We will bear the full cost of pregnant women on normal delivery and caesarean sections in our hospital in this period of lockdown, he stated. What this new scheme means is that at this time, patients with the listed medical conditions will not need to pay access treatment or care in all our 27 general hospitals across the state, Sorolu explained. A good way to support pregnant women and improve maternal health in Lagos states. The United Nations Women Organization has stated that paying attention to women's needs and leadership will strengthen COVID-19 response. UN Women Organization harps on the need for gender responsive measures that will help to mitigate the impact of the novel coronavirus pandemic on women. Women are described as a gender that is often worst hit during crisis periods and health disasters. And that brings us to the end of this episode of COVID-19 Women Series. Do connect with us on our social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram with the details shown on your screen. You could also send me an email and share with me how you are coping.